I think there's fans are on the precipice here in Detroit in all sports wanting more. And the Pistons were the team to give us a playoff appearance. Now they don't want you to go backwards. I mean, do you feel how close this, this city is to just buying into the, the team that can, that can get over the hump? No question, Justin. One thing about our team here is we're in a great sports city, not just basketball. The Lions have a history, Tigers, you know, they've had some tough times lately, but we have three championships with the, the Pistons, so they understand good basketball and bad basketball. So we have the most intelligent, some of the most intelligent fans in the NBA. So I tell our players, you're not going to fool fans. You're not going to fool them. The only way we can do, the only thing we can do, is come out and lay it on the line each and every night and play hard because fans here will let you know if you're not playing hard. So one thing we've done with this in mind is we have a bridge to get to a championship level. You know, we won last year. The fans want more. We want more. I want more. The sense of urgency is there. Uh, that's one reason why we bring a Derrick Rose in who had a, 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 a comeback year last year. So uh, Joe Johnson, a guy like that. We have some excellent young players. The growth of Luke Kennard. So we are going in the right direction now. How many more wins that's going to get us this year? We hopefully have some more. But I do know that with the guys, the guys' improvement, uh, the guys we're bringing in, that we are a better team. I know you're an X's and O's guy, but the head coach's job is also to uh, manage personalities, and you've got a few of them on this team. I mean, what kind of challenge is that? Not in a bad way, right, right. but in a good way as well. Well, Justin, the thing about it is, is we we have some personalities, and that's a good thing. I like spiciness. You know, Reggie's spicy. I know Andre is is spicy, and that's the that's the new NBA. And again, as long as they bring that spice to the court, that's 90% of the battle. And uh, we have nothing but great guys on our team, solid human beings. Um, and again, you know, I like the spiciness, as, as you say, and, and the different personalities that we have. Because if you don't, you, everything's blank. There's no, you have no advantage. I think you have to have some, some toughness, some sp spiciness, some difference in your lineup, in your personalities. Uh, and that, that sometimes makes you a good team. Tell me about your rookie. I know that Sekou is a guy that, that right now it's not maybe projected to get a ton of minutes, but at the same time, could he midseason find himself playing in the NBA? Well, Justin, he's played in a, a big-time league over in France, and he's played professional basketball. Uh, he's 18 years old. He's shown flashes this summer. He was hurt for summer league, so he couldn't really do summer league this summer uh, the way we wanted him to. He really couldn't do our summer uh, workout program the way we wanted to so he's a little bit behind from that standpoint but as far as talent athleticism he has that he's got to learn the NBA game the rhythm of the game how you move without the basketball how you defend in our league because he has all the physical tools and he's a great kid uh, his shooting is ahead of some of the young players I've had in the past. He knows how to, but just knowing how to get open and create his own shot. So great things are ahead for him. I'm sure he'll spend some time with Grand Rapids, with their team down there, just to get playing time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but to see right now, unless he just, and I hope he does, comes and turns the, the team up uh, in training camp and in October, uh, things could change. But uh, I see nothing but bright things ahead for for Seiko. All right, let's go back in time. We're going to be 12-year-old Dwayne Casey. We're, we're playing our coach's game, because I'm sure you were imagining being a player. You wanted to be a coach when you were way back to a kid. How exciting is it to, to, to media day, preseason practice? You're going to East Lansing, probably see Tom Mizzo. You know, I mean, the excitement of a new year. I know we're excited. The fans are excited. Where are you at? I'm very excited. I, this is my time of year as far as getting excited. Um, you know, other than being with the family in the summertime, I get bored. I don't play golf. I don't. I watch <laughs> film every night of games, all of our seasons last year, to try to see where we could do some things different. So I have a boring life other than my family. I love my family, but this is my time of year. I get excited at this time of year, uh, thinking of different things. And this next couple of weeks will be exciting too because we have, what, eight new faces in our lineup. So to see how we're going to try to implement those guys, get them together, see how they gel together. The team chemistry has to be built. The trust has to be built. 
uh, understanding roles. We gave out our role card last night, but guys understanding what they bring to the table. Uh, maybe some guys may bring less and still help us win. So uh, all those things, it's almost like a chemistry class, Justin, going into to this season, but it's an exciting time of the year. Reggie Jackson's roll card. What's Reggie Jackson? No, I'm kidding. What's what's my roll card? What would be on my roll card? Well, is to be nice, just to, <laughs> to be understanding, not rip us when we we mess up or miss a shot or whatever. No, I tell you what, we have a great media core here in uh, in Detroit. I like the fans, very smart, savvy, and like I tell players all the time, you're not going to fool. Is you know you're not going to fool the media here in Detroit. Come out, play hard, compete to win, compete together, and they'll respect that. If you come out, don't compete on a nightly basis, don't lay it on the line, and play through adversity. The fans will let you know it here, and the media. Oh yeah. No, I'll be nice. I'm always nice. Come on down.